Hello everybody, welcome back to Unites Cake Tips and thank you so much for joining me. This week I would like to do another three-dimensional cake. It will be 20 portion red rocket, just like we see in the Little Einstein's cartoon. As we all know that cartoon character team cakes make children very happy and today I'm hoping I will also make you happy with this tutorial. These are the things what you see on the table, you need to have it before you start doing the cake. So let's start from the tools and material. I will have a couple of things to roll the fondant. PVC pipe, poking pins to remove the air bubbles, starch, and then a plastic knife, also fondant leveler tool that to make the fondant just nice and smooth straight. All right. I have a spatula, palette knife, and the knife to carve the cake. I have also a long knife to uh, slice the the, uh, the, the sponge and I have uh, three sprays oil spray cold spray and water spray which I have it always and then wet towel and also I have a brush with the uh, water so that I can knead it for some gluing some parts all right then I have here uh, some wooden skewers that especially in one part I have to bend the wooden skewers so I will use the uh, torch gas torch and then the moisture, the water. So I will just uh, uh, show you something very, very simple and I can bend it. I cannot bend it now, but I'll show you how to do it very, very simply. All right. As a cake board, I will have 40 centimeter wooden board, uh, which is uh, nine millimeter thickness. And I coat that with a uh, light blue velvet cloth. And then this will represent sort of background, like uh, I will also create some clouds and everything behind. So, and also I have a plastic sheet, just like a cellophane sheet on it to protect the board while I'm doing all the ganache and chocolate and everything. Once we finish, we're gonna remove that anyway. All right. I have uh, two sponge here. One sponge in 25 centimeter, five centimeter high, another one is a 15 centimeter, five centimeter high. This one is a 1.2 kilo, this one is 600 gram. So these two sponge, round sponge, my mother shape of the cake, and I will carve the, everything from these two cake. And this is the ring that I will maybe use it for during the planning session. And then I will have some boards also, when I sandwich the cake, I will keep them on these boards and bring it back and forward to fridge and come back. And then uh, I have a red, light blue, yellow and gray fondant to do the cake, which is very simple. It's only these four colors involved. I'm using again Vision fondant. You know why is that? Because of that long lasting softness on the surface that I can fiddle with that and at the same time a good stretch. All right. And I have a bit of also uh, ganache. I guess this is about 500 gram or 600 gram should be more than enough. I have also some reference pictures of this rocket. So I print it out from the uh, internet. So I'll explain you now next uh, while I'm doing the planning. I went on the internet and I tried to find the, the picture uh, from different directions from this uh, rocket and I couldn't find. So later on, I just go one after episode and I watched the whole lot. And then during this uh, watching, I can see that sometimes I can see this uh, rocket from different directions. So I just stop the, the movie and then just take a snapshot from the, uh, what is it called, like a, a kind of snapping tool or something like this in the Windows 10. So you can actually uh, freeze the, the movie and after that you can just uh, highlight the area that where you want to take a photo and you can just uh, print out. So I, that's what I did. So that's why I can get it like a front view and a top view and then back view and also most important is the side view. So this is a quite a simple uh, shape, just like an oblong shape, uh, two ob oblong shape comes together. One of them is the larger cake, one of them smaller cake. I want to make a very simple drawing in front of you, then I will draw something much better than that, what I'm doing just like rough today now here, and I, I can share with you the other drawing, which I'm going to generate from this drawing. So that is the large sponge, like this here, and I'm going to make a kind of oblong shape from this round shape. So what I do, I just cut car from here a little bit and the car from here a little bit and then edit here that become the oblong shape. So basically this one comes here, this one comes here, then we have sort of this shape, which is will be then the main body of the rocket. All right. And the same thing will be happen over here on the top. So that will be then again, just a round sponge car from here and from there that becomes like this and like that. Of course, that's not going to be like this. It will be like, of course, this shape. This is not like a staircase. So it will be like a roundish over here, etc. So but because this is the mother shape that we're going to start from. So if I go like that here, 
like that here. And then also that that uh, ship will not going to be completely. It will be the cake will be look like this. All right, look like this. So I will have something in that sense, something here. Let's put it here like that. That will be the board. And after that, we will have that's the base part will be like this. Okay. And after that, the other one will be look like this. Am I right? Yes. It will be look like this. Very rough. But doesn't matter. We're going to do a better one later on. All right. Basically, this is the shape. And then after that, there will be here the side window like this, like that, like that, here, here, and here, here. We have that extension on top here like this. And then the engines will be sideways. I like to go it from the from the top view that I can understand better. That will be something look like on this. Will be around here. A little bit more far probably like that. Will be somewhere around here. Look like here, and then we have the connection like this. Then this one will be go here. I like to make this one sitting on the ground. It's like actually a little bit more higher, but I'm not going to do it. I just want to simplify that. So this is a little bit more higher than it's a this much of distance in between, but I'm not going to worry about it. I just want to make it touch, touch the ground, so it will be much more easier. And then we'll be here and there. And there will be there some part of here like this. So this is basically what our ship will be look like. All right. So this is like that. Top view. That's it. I'm going to make another drawing later on to share with you. Then you can see much clearer than what you see over here. So next thing we're going to do, I'm going to start sandwiching the cake. I just copy from my rough drawing to this uh, because this is sort of semi transparent uh, sheet that I can see exactly what's going on underneath. And then this is the one I'm going to share with you. In the meantime, uh, when I'm doing all those parts, I will put some uh, grams that in here so you can exactly make it exactly the same size. All right. So now let's start with the sandwiching. We don't need this at the moment, this one, just put on the side. I start from the uh, large one. I like to cut this in three pieces. Because it's always good that even that this smut cake nice and moist, but I like to have still some ganache in between. All right, this comes here. This recipe you can find, of course, in our website. It's free, you can have it anytime you like. It's beautiful, very easy. I love mud cake, very easy to do, and very, very much like a, a good texture that works with every kind of cake like this. Either three dimension or flat cake will be all work nicely. So, a little bit of ganache in between, not too much. I put this one in between. A little bit more. And the last one. I like to put one some crumb coat on it. And don't forget, we're gonna use more ganache on top later on when the all shaping is ready. No need to be nice because we'll be all carved again. All right. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the small one and then both cake goes in the fridge and stay about half an hour to become nice and firm that I can carve further. Then we can continue to shape in the cake. While those two cakes getting nice and cold and firm in the fridge, I like to use the time that uh, produce some of the parts. 
So some parts that I can just leave it to the end because I can just do it softly and put it on, no problem at all. But some of the parts, it will make complete sense that if I do it earlier and let it firm a little bit in the room temperature, at the end, it will be nice and easy to hold and attach, etc. So uh, this is the parts I'm talking about. I like to put these two engine uh, first uh, produce and let it on the side till we do something else. And after that, we will have much more easier to handle it. So two equal pieces means that you have to cut from the sausage. So exactly the same size. So that means this is one, this much. I'll let you know how many grams is this. So this is now quite equal. So I don't have to worry about second time portioning. Maybe it's not going to be equal. All right. This is a bit too small. I'd like to add a little bit more here. It will be better now. All right. Now, let's see. Hundred and ten gram. But I'm not so sure yet. I just want to finish first. Knitting first. Then make a ball. Be looking something like egg shape. Do you see my hands? This is close, this is flat. And then just everything turns this way when I do that. Okay. Now. This is just right. Just touching over here. Turning like this. Start from the very rough shape. And slowly we're getting into a better according to the drawing. Well, exactly portioning right, 110 gram. That will make very similar size that I'll be planned. All right, once this happened, I like to use that uh, flat round part here and touch in the middle and slowly circling around the center, make an indentation. Okay, now, after that, turn back again, put it here, and go back to do this again. Every time you do, you will have better results, okay? So this is the first one, and go the other side, also push, and circling, and then going back and just reshape it, make it nice. Okay, this is the one here and the second one. That's it. We are ready with that. When I look at this plane here, there is some horizontal wings which is connecting the engines to the main body. And I can do this one with a soft uh, fondant, no problem, because I will use the skewers, go through the body here, and then after that, I'm going to connect this soft uh, fondant. To here but just going through inside then I can connect the the engines to the extending the wooden skewers here there will be no problem so I don't have to do this one now but when I do this one this part here which is the uh, vertical wings I need to have that one maybe done now and let it dry for a while because it will standing vertical I cannot use a soft fondant to do this so therefore what I eat, I just add a little bit of icing sugar into the fondant to make the fondant a little bit more firmer. Not the CMC, just the icing sugar. And I'm going to help this one to speed up the drying process. All right. So I like to do the mother shape is like a moon shape. Like this. Okay. And then just make it flat. Like that. Flat. And now when I bring this one here, I can cut this from here, like this, to that, and the other side, the other one. So I like to make it a little bit more, a little bit more, like that. I will actually dry this first for a while and cut after. Actually, just towards the end of it, because once I have the, the engine attached to the body, I know exactly where the direction, so I can just do it. And this part, I can also do soft one, so there's no problem at all. I just have to do uh, these lights better now, and this will be also ready. These two front lights 
it's not like an egg shape. It's like a cylinder and cut slanting and then sits exactly on the body, uh, like really snug, right? So that's why I like to do like a long sausage shape again, just like this. I'm using just comfortable amount. I need, I need just a little bit right here. So I'm gonna get cut one like this, all right? And one like this and one like that. And just shape it up a little bit like that. That's already good. So I'm gonna use this one. This is just the right size here like this. Maybe slightly larger. Okay, like this. And also I'm going to do this one here. Just go like this. So we're gonna put some yellow front on inside. All right, that's also ready. That's it. Everything else, we can do it, but it's better to make this two piece also, just from here. That's not a final cut, I will do that later on again. That. The same, almost. Okay, good. Now I will go and get my cakes and start carving. I like to have the rocket facing like this, diagonal on that uh, board. So that's why I'm gonna turn this way and then see that symmetrically, then I'm gonna continue the carving the cake. So my aim is just removing a kind of like little piece from here, from here first and adding to the front. This is one, and this is two, all right. This is not going to give me exactly the oblong shape, but it will be a, a just a start. This one here. And this one there. Not bad. Just, a, just the way how I want. It's happened. All right. Now, what I like to do. As you see that I'm using hot water, just carve it from over here like this a little bit. Like that. Also, I'm going to carve a little bit from underneath. Not much, just a little bit. This all the off cuts in the one little container. We may need it later on. Mud cake has a texture that you can push to shape. Not a problem. So as far as I can see that is already happening what I'm looking for. So we give a little bit of ganache as a kind of masking around. That's the kind of first uh, coating, not the final coating. I'm gonna to touch up again later on, a little bit. So I will use that soft scraper. I'm gonna use this one. Just go a little bit of like making nice. Okay, this is so far so good. Okay, not final yet. I'm gonna pick up the other cake now. 
when we look at here, this part, what we did. So this cake is about this first red part. So from the, the edge of the blue till here is about one and a half times higher than this, what we did. So I'm going to carve exactly the same way. And after that, all the offcuts I'm going to put on top and make it try to make it higher. So uh, yeah, first cutting. Okay, first place. Second piece. A little bit here. A little bit cash here. Put it on. Squeeze it a little bit. Okay, now, as well as I can see, and this cake has to be about this size. So this is not really tall enough, but I'm going to extend it later. All right. So, uh, all right, keep carving. Huh? One part here behind is lower. I have to put this on top so I don't have to struggle with this. Okay. I like to keep these pieces first, not putting right away inside, inside the bowl, because I may need it just like as it is. And this one goes a bit more lower, like this. Okay. So, and this one, like that. Let's check. A little bit longer. This is good. A little bit on top. And I think I should put a little bit also on the side. Do it here. I feel like this is not wide enough. I think we should now take it out and try. Much just right, okay. A little bit of trimming, okay. Now I want to mask this before I put on the other side. First coat, okay. What I like to do now, I'm going to do some cleaning and come back to you. Now I have two choice to do over here. Either I can just uh, put this on top of each other and then mash together. It will be quite difficult because there's an edge sort of indent here. So that's why I prefer to make individually again, nice and neat. And after that, join together. If there's any kind of problem, I will just fix the problems. All right. So give a nice coat over here now. This will be the final coat. Okay, this time I'm going to use a very soft scraper, which is here. Just a piece of PVC, all right? 
So this makes it really, really nice and smooth. I make also the ganache, especially quite soft. Because as soon as hit that soft ganache on the cold surface, it already firming anyway. Look at that, so nice and great. All right, let's put this one here and this one here and do the same thing again. Just put a generous amount of soft ganache on top here. Looked like an Easter egg. All right, now, next thing, we just remove the edges so you have an easy and clean lift off here and after that you choose this one I like to choose to see that this part is a more uh, larger this one is more smaller I think I choose this one as a front all right that's it as I said the problems now only the joining part. I'm going to deal with this one. Then we are actually done. See? Okay, our cake is ready to coat with fondant. That's what I'm going to do next. I just said to you that uh, we are ready to uh, coat with fondant, but every time I switch off the cameras, I feel like touching a little bit more. So I did that. If I don't tell you that, it's not fair for you. So uh, what I did, uh, I feel like uh, it has to need to go to the fridge back again to cool it down and firm it up. So I just put a little bit more uh, ganache in the front to make the window just much more like frontal, not so go backwards. And also flatten up this one a little bit. So when you take it out the cake from the fridge, it's getting cold. It's getting like a, a condensation. Therefore, I put some cling wrap on it. Uh, just to wait for a while. The condensation is appears on the surface, not on the cake. So I will take it out when I'm ready to roll this blue fondant. So as you see over here, there is a window here and a window at the back. There's no other blue background that I need to do. So that's why I'm not going to even bother to make it exactly like this. What I will do, I will coat the whole top with blue and I can cut after that wherever I need to. So just uh, roll this uh, blue fondant now. Nice and thin, about, let's say about one and a half, two millimeters. All right. Start a bit, a uh, bit more generous with the starch at the beginning and later on you don't need to do any more. So I need to go oblong shape, so that's why I would also try to roll this one oblong shape right now. That should be big enough. All right, remove the cling wrap. Don't need this anymore. And place it on. Make sure that this blue is past the edge. Go on the sur on the flat surface a little bit. This is a very easy coat. That's the edge. I'm going to remove that blue right after the edge, maybe just a one or two millimeter, just like this. Don't need to be too exact because we're going to put the red on it anyway. If you be just uh, gentle, you can still reuse it. All right. Then what I like to do. I'm going to just drag this one a little bit around to make this blue fondant level with the ganache. 
actually the, the fondant is not sinking inside the ganache and becomes like level here. Okay, that's ready. Now, while I'm rolling the red fondant, I like to cover one more time because it's just still too cold. I don't want to have any condensation on this blue. Just keep it like this and I'm going to open up when I'm ready with the red. So my red fondant is also ready rolled. I want you to realize that after sometimes I stop doing this, I'm just dragging that, you know, gliding that my PVC pipe over the fondant. Uh, actually it polishes and at the same time rolling at the same time, right? So uh, remove that one. Because I'm going to cut these windows out, I like to use a little bit of oil on here and here behind. Otherwise, everything is fine. Okay? So, let's do that one now. All right. Bring this one here. It is already there. And here. Just be gentle. As I said, this is a very easy shape to coat. Still, we don't have to rush. Just go one place at a time, open and push, open and push, and do not cut anything yet. Just control the folds that doesn't really appear on the surface. It can appear after the skirt starting, but no folds on the cake, no folds on the cake. All right, now, I'm going to push a little bit more with the blunt side of the knife. All right, now I go carefully, just cutting. I'm going to drag my plastic knife a couple of times, not only one time, so I can, I will be in control that I'm cutting absolutely right from the edge not something earlier then so I can I have to I see some some tears over there all right done. Okay, there's no connection. Can everything move? Immediately touch my knife at the bottom so make sure that it's like the start is nice and neat and what I will do now I'm going to do some markings that shows me where do I start cutting. Okay, I look at all my reference pictures, I can see exactly where the lines are and where also rivet points are. So I'm just going to see that over here at the middle, in the middle of this red part, we don't do this one anyway, we just do this part, there's a one straight line. So I place my, my hand over here, this is a bit of oily on the surface, I'm just going to put my knife here over here and then drag it in the same height. So my center line is already done. So I must end up in the place that where I started, which is I am. All right, no problem. All right. Secondly, I'm just going to put one more line over here, which is the starting to the window frame. Okay. Then I have here something starting from this way. Okay. The the this one window is goes here up a little bit, like that, 
and then here also up a little bit like that so this is the this edge okay then I have to look at from the side to see that exactly right okay I have to go up to go up and level it and go around and go down again to the edge so that is correct it's pretty much symmetrical from the top and I have one line in the center just like this like that and I have that's not completed put it here one line here like that and top view I need here one line like this from here down like that do exactly the same opposite okay then one line in the center here my right yes center here like that this is where the all the panels are joining here's one and then one line here don't have to worry about too much because there's another wing coming there all right here make sure you are symmetrical and then here I will continue to down all right now there's one window at behind there will be like this let me see just oval shape Now a little bit bigger on this side here. That's why the marking is better first before you're cutting. So if you make a mistake, you can still rectify. All right. Then after that, I feel like this goes too, too much. Here has to go a little bit more that way. That is more symmetrical. See, I realize that there's a there's a mistake here. I rectify it. Hmm? All right, and then after that, we have this side bars that which is connecting everything. So there will be one here, like this, and second one around this area. okay and exactly opposite that's the spot mm -hmm. then another one exactly opposite is here like that here all right now we can cut all right starting from here Cut, cut, out, cut, cut, and out. This one out. Then cut, and cut here, and cut in the front, out, 
and then cut, cut here, also cut here, and there, remove, then cut. There's a bit of dirt over here, it's not dirt, it's just a, a ganache, but I'm gonna just use the ear butts, the cotton butts, and I will just remove that later on with the water, all right? So. All right, our windows is out, and then uh, rivet points. Every single corner have a two dots. This is just a pen without uh, any kind of uh, insert, just a round uh, shape. Just push one here, one there, and then also in this corner. So every corner will get one rivet. So it's represented that the platforms are joining together with the rivets here. Okay, one, one. Every time I touch, I turn a little bit. Turn here. I don't know where the wind coming, but it doesn't matter. Just do everywhere the same kind of action. We have to cut one more window now. Then, 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 then. Two here, then four here. Okay. I think I have to go a little bit more left because, yeah, a little bit more left. Here. All right. And this one cut a little bit more further down to just get the symmetry correct. I should have measured for that correct. All right, this is a little bit not in the center, but it's to the people that who just seeing the cake first time, they won't even notice it. Okay, so that is the all cutting and, and all the riveting. So I think I have one more uh, join, uh, which I don't see it, but I will still do it. One here in the center. And then maybe nothing wrong to make one more here. So let's do this one here. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, and one, two, one, and two. We are all done with cutting and marking and riveting. Before we continue on the adding all those bits and pieces into the boat, into the uh, rocket, so let's finish those details. So I have here uh, one blue part goes everywhere. Actually, every hole has got blue color first. So I'm just going to roll this one around so that I can cut four circles. So like this, like that. Just cut four circles first. Two, three, and four. Remove that. Okay. So one goes behind. A little bit of water. One goes behind, and then here, one, one goes this side. But before this one goes in, I have to get some lines on it. Okay. Just a bit of pick up some moisture from here. Put it there. Then I have little egg shape. Just egg shape like that. 
cut in two. And a little bit of moisture here, a little bit of moisture here. And put one here. And then one also there. So that's already good. All right. And uh, also the lights has got yellow, kind of like a, a light in front. Just a one ball like this. And the same color and the same same size. Just put inside here. Without any cutter, we don't need it. Just put it on. That's already good enough. That's also ready. So everything else we're gonna cut later on, all right? So let me just show you now how am I gonna do that extensions that which we can attach to engines into it, all right? I like to make these parts, all right? So just take a little bit of red here. This should be cutting like this, and this should be cutting like that. That's already done. Let's go to the other side. It's also like this and like that. So this should be cutting like this and like that. Pretty much has to be same size, approximately. Yes, it is. Done. Now, just get this one here, this one there, clear up this one, and now we start worry about how to put them in. Just touch a little bit, of course, make it nice. That will be coming approximately around here. I like to poke it in, and after that, I like to remove it, cutting after that, okay? Make sure that this part are straight to the front, all right? Where's that wood? So that will hold this and the engine at the same time. Don't make it too short, just go all the way in so the wood is not really dangerously small that people can put in them out, okay? That's it. The other side. Same spot. Yep. Okay, I just need to have my wire cutter. I bring this on here and I chop them exactly from this spot. So it's all chopped, one more chop here, that's it. So this is a device that can chop the, uh, even the skewers that are uh, very nice. This is actually a wire cutter, all right? Small little device, it's ha very helpful. All right, now I like to poke this one over here. If I push this one in there now like this, it will just push all the skewers inside. So that's why I'm just gonna mark it like this, all right? And after that, I will have a little bit more push here to make it better. And then a little bit of water here. All right, I know that where is it coming? And then push it in and push a little bit more. It's just like a nice connection, All right? That's it. All right, here's the same. First of all, marking and push more. Push more. A little bit of water. Push it in. That's it. Now, this one, the front lights around here.
hold both of them together and then just like turn it around that this light's looking forward. Looking forward, all right? That's it. Now I like to have this vertical wings that on top of the engines. Now I just take this measurement as a guidance and then cut this one straight like that. Okay, and this one slightly like this. I think this is more flatter, so I'm just going to make it a little bit more flatter, like that. All right, let's try. Yeah, it stays very straight, nice. So then I'm going to use this one as a guidance to cut the other one. All right. So this is like this. All right, and then the other one is just like that. One done is in about one and a half hours. It's like firm up. But if I need it, it will go back to the same soft condition, right? That is vision all about. So it's quite uh, sort of setting on the time, but when you're needing, it's go back to the right in the same original format. So uh, I will need a little bit of water to glue it, but I will recommend you when you're having, like this is only for you to see it now, but I think you should also use a little bit of chocolate to glue that, okay? So uh, this one goes to here, that's this side. If you push a little bit, it will stand, no problem at all. Okay, here also. And then also a little bit of water here. Just a bit of moisture, all right. That will hold. Uh, also, this one, moisture, moisture, that will also hold. So, now what I like to do, there's one more thing so here to do, is as you see over here, there is a little kind of like antenna on the top in the front here. That you can see it also over here. I'm gonna do next this one and I'll show you how to bend a skewer uh, without breaking. Let's say we are in this situation that I have to get something inside here as a kind of construction that can hold a very thin, flimsy piece of uh, fondant. Basically, if I do this one with the fondant, it's not gonna hold, it's, not, it's just gonna break right away, all right? So unless you do out of pastillage and let it dry and put it on, this is also like not so very strong, all right? I like to bend this skewer to hold that extension and I'll show you how to do it. So first of all, I don't want to use a small little skewer, which will be dangerous to hold he heating inside the cake, so people can put in the mouth uh, very, very sort of like accidentally. So I'm just going to measure from here to side. That has to go all the way in, and I have to bend this from here, uh, from exactly from this spot to this spot, right? To this spot, bending like this. But if I'm bending like that, it's going back, right? So what I like to do, I just put a little bit of water here, just in this area, all right? Just make the wood slightly wet, okay? Where was it? Just uh, starting from here and bending. So I just want to bend this part like that, all right? So heat, we need it. And then I like to bend this part. Look at that. It doesn't matter have a bit of burn mark, doesn't matter, because we're going to coat this anyway with the, with, the, with the fondant. See that? How it is burning? And bending at the same time. And it's holding. Right? Okay, I'm happy with that one. It's already bended. See? Alright. So all what we have to do now, I'm going to cut this from this spot here. That's it. And I'm going to take a little bit of red fondant, which is, you see, this is hardened already. I just take it out and it's already soft, right? Don't need to mix. 
damage. Okay, let's place it here and start just pushing it with each other, the sides, then it covers. All right, I need to get a little bit of space over here to push a ball into it. Okay, that's already good enough. Now, on the other hand, we have some bump here. As you see in this picture here, there's a bump, okay? Nice and round, push it on. That's the bump. Right then, and I need a ball. Let's make it a bit more prominent. So like a bit more larger than the picture shows me. This one there. And we pop this all the way in. That is beautiful. And then push this one inside here. There we go. We are ready. Look at that. So let's check. Is anything missing here uh, on the picture? Nothing is missing. So all what I need is the actually most important thing is the people inside. There's figures inside. So uh, as we all know that uh, uh, used to be uh, when we need something like this picture, we have to paint it with the cocoa butter or some sort of like sugar colors, etc. Uh, on the white sugar and then place it on. But today we have technology that we can print pictures. So that is actually opens a new era in the cake decorating. I'm going to use the same technology. I will just ask my wife to print this picture over here. So then you'll see me next one. I'm just going to place the picture over here and we see the guys that looking uh, from the window, behind the window. So uh, what I did, actually, I just take a, a plastic sheet, put it over here, mark a pen, just take this measurement. I give it to her. She will just manage to get me the pictures and we're going to put it on next. Okay, I have this picture over here. Uh, this is the actually, original picture that uh, they're looking uh, from the window. And then uh, this is the birthday boy. I like to have this birthday boy in between those four. So that's why I cut it according to the like this part here. I'm going to place this uh, the he said in between. So this is a one part. This is the second part, and I'm cutting cut this now. Other part here, this part, very easy. So like this. Yeah, actually, that background should be burgundy, but it doesn't matter really. So I just want to do it like this, like that. You don't need all those things. So this will come around here right like this behind so let's start from here the this one here like that don't push it on yet because i like to just make sure that it's looking good she is here and then this guy's around here like that is it in the center yeah a little bit more left like that, like that, and this one goes a little bit more this way. All right, we are all done. So that looks already pretty good, and then I think the birthday will also very, very motivated. So let's me let me remove that protection line over here. We don't need this anymore because cake is finished. So I just do this and this. All right, it's all done. That's rubbish. Okay, as you see over here now, the cake is actually on the board, all right? And it's not flying, but as soon as I put a couple of clouds over here around, it will be just in the sky and they are flying inside the rocket. So just like this, and I will just write over here the message. All right, now it is finished, guys. Uh, I'm sure you realize that I use a couple of more other tools than the what I show you at the beginning. So it was like little round cutter, also like wire cutter, everything. So I add those 
always into the list at the end. So please pay attention. You can just uh, click on the uh, link underneath this video and go to the list of all the materials and tools. So as you see, it is already finished. Let me give you this a bit turning around like this. All right. So uh, every time you do this kind of uh, simple 3D cakes is the most important thing is firstly identifying the mother shape of the carving. So as I showed you before, two round cake, uh, cutting from the round to removing two sides and adding other sides, making oblong. It was already just like geometrical. Then we carve further to the right shape. So, and also very important, uh, you prepare your pre-decided simple list to follow. So if you do that, you will have uh, very easy to do it. So thank you so much for watching me again and making Yana's Cake Tips uh, your uh, sort of like a video to watch on YouTube. Uh, God bless you all. Till to the next tutorial. Bye for now.